On March 31, 2024, the Russian United Aircraft Corporation said that the second experimental aircraft, the IL-104 Tand-300, flew from Lukovitsi Aircraft Plant Airport for the first time. This aircraft is also the first of its kind to be newly built. The flight lasted 40 minutes and reached altitudes of up to 900 meters at speeds of up to 230 kilometers per hour. UAC has been trying to resume manufacturing the IL-114 aircraft in its updated form, the IL-104 Tand-300, since 2014. The IL-114-300 regional turboprop passenger plane is expected to have a flight range of up to 4,800 kilometers with a load of 1,000 kilograms and 3,250 kilometers with 1,000 kilograms with a maximum fuel reserve of up to 5 to 600 kilometers. The highest fuel reserves will result in an hourly fuel usage of 550 kilograms. The IL-114 can carry up to 64 passengers. Its power plant comprises two TVD TV7117ST01 engines, each capable of producing 2,500 horsepower. The maximum takeoff weight is 23.5 tons and the maximum payload is 6,500 kilograms. The cruise speed is 500 kilometers per hour, the cruising altitude is 7,600 meters, and the takeoff and landing distance is 150 meters. The IL-140-300 aircraft is made up of Russian components, with various UAC firms cooperating. The aircraft design data has been digitized, and a digital model of the aircraft has been generated. The new regional IL-114-300 has enhanced flight and technical characteristics, made greater use of composite materials, and features a new digital piloting and navigation system. Almost all primary aircraft systems have been updated, focusing on increasing crew cabin ergonomics. The IL-104-300 regional passenger aircraft has a maximum seating capacity of 68. It will replace the AN-24 on domestic airlines. The IL-14-300 can fly independently from relatively modest aerodromes with both concrete and unpaved surfaces. Furthermore, it is designed for use in Arctic climates. The aircraft's TV-7-107ST-01 engine has undergone several improvements. A new auxiliary power unit, TA-14114, has also been fitted, giving the aircraft autonomy during service and preparation for flying at poorly equipped airfields. At the MAX 2017 air show, State Transport Leasing Company signed an agreement with UAC to purchase 50 EL-114-300 aircraft. The third flying prototype of the IL-114-300 is currently being built. Now, do you think the Russians are weak in aircraft engines? Let us know in the comments. We discuss such interesting subjects every day. Please subscribe to the channel and share and like the videos.